Hi, welcome to our microprocessor mini project video. Please sit back and enjoy our presentation. Meet the team members. My name is Muhammad Azim and together with me are Wan Lokman and Khairul Anwar. Is your car been left under the sun for too long? Don't worry, we have a solution for you. As we know, when leaving the car under the sun, the conditions in the car are getting very hot. Therefore, with this device, you can detect the interior temperature inside the car and then activate the regulator to release heat from inside the car. Human comfort temperature range from 22 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius. Therefore, we have set the temperature below 27 degrees Celsius so that the car user will be comfortable when they get in their car even under the sun. With this, car users no longer have to worry about getting into their cars even when they are left under the sun. We will install the fan inside the car and then the temperature sensor will detect the temperature beyond the specified limit. After that, the fan will start to function and regulate to release heat inside the car. In the meantime, solar panels are also used to power up the fan, sensors and other things. Therefore, car users do not need to start the car to remove heat from their car. Thus, the car users can save energy and oil. Moving on to the problem statement, a car that has been left under the sun for a period of time will result in the increase of temperature inside of the car as time passes by. The increase in temperature will make the driver and passengers uncomfortable as they enter the car. This delays the time to get to the destination as we need to wait for the temperature to drop after we start the car and switch on the air conditioner. And moving on to the objective, our objective is to create a system which regulates the temperature in the car by using the Arduino software. And here are the electronic components that we use for our project, including the cost. The total cost for our project is around 250 ringgit, which includes the wires and breadboard. After assemble all of the components together, and this is how our circuit configurations looks like. Now, we will show you how we assemble our components. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, instead of making an actual prototype, we need to use Tinkercad software to assemble our circuits and to simulate our system. First, we will set up our TMP36 temperature sensor. This sensor is able to measure temperatures ranging from negative 40 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius. Next, we will set up the LCD display. The function of this LCD component is to display the recorded temperature inside of the car and also it tells us the speed of the fan at a specific temperature. Next, we will set up the motor, slide switch and lastly the LED light. We used LED lights as a backup for our LCD display. This is because we are not relying on LCD alone as our feedback mechanism. These LEDs will only light up at a specific temperature. For example, if the temperature inside of the car is below 30 degrees Celsius, only one LED will light up. And that's it. That is how our circuit were assembled. Let's take a look at our 3D model. If we are able to make a prototype, this is how our prototype will look like. Here, we have the front view and the back view of the model. As you can see, we have solar panels and fans attached to the model. The reason why we use solar panels is because we wanted to create a self-sustained system. 
which means that we won't use the car's own battery to power up the fans. Hence, this is the part where solar panels became useful, where when the temperature inside the car rises, the system will use the power from the solar panels to power up the fans without the need to start the car. So, it is a great advantage for our customers as they can directly go to their destination without feeling hot. Finally, we will take a look at the circuit simulation. This is our simulation video. After the switch has been switched on, the temperature sensor will be turned on and started recording temperatures. Now, the temperature sensor has recorded that the temperature inside of the car is below 30 degrees Celsius, so the fan will be turned on. Both of these temperatures and fan speeds are being displayed by the LCD screen. This is also being indicated by the LED lights. When the temperature rises, so as the fan speed. This is to enable the fan to quickly remove the heat from the car's interior. As you can also see, the LED lights light up one by one. This is to indicate the fan speed is at 20%, 40% and so on. That's all from us. Thank you and goodbye.